Okay, in this video, we're going to deal with setting up remote desktop in a Windows 10 environment. I have Windows 10 running in a virtual machine here on Windows 8.1 um, and uh, VMware Workstation 10, but it doesn't matter where it's running, whether it's a physical machine or virtual machine, the steps are going to be exactly the same. So let's go down to the Start button and we're going to right click and we're going to go to Control Panel. Okay. Now in Control Panel where it says View By in the upper right hand corner, just switch that to Small Icons and we're going to jump down to Firewall, Windows Firewall, there it is. Okay, so open up your Windows Firewall. Okay, and you want to go on the left where it says Allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall. You're going to click there. And we want in the upper right hand corner to click on Change Settings to allow us to make the change that we want to make. Then you're going to scroll down until you see Remote Desktop. And you're going to check on that. And then you can click on OK. All right, and we can close that window off. Now the next step is once again right click on the start button and go to system. Now when the system window comes up on the left hand side it says remote settings. Click on that. Okay and we want under remote desktop under the remote tab you want to select allow remote connections to this computer and depending on your situation, you may want to leave this next box, allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication checked off. Uh, I think that's going to be fine with the Windows 7 machine I want to connect with. So we're going to go ahead and click on apply and then click on OK. And we can close that as well. Now, third step, right click and go on your start button and go to command prompt. Okay, and at your command prompt, type in IP config and press enter. And what you're looking for is your IPv4 address, okay, which in our case here is 192.168.0.18. That IP is assigned by the router. This is a remote desktop connection that we're going to make within our local network. If you want to uh, connect from outside your office or home, you still need this number, but you need to map it in your router uh, to this. You, you need to map the ports for remote desktop in your router to this particular IP address, and you need to know your external IP address. All that is outside the scope of this tutorial, and you can find information on that uh, in plenty of tutorials online. Uh, I, right now, I want to show you the essentials that will get you up and working at home or in your office. Okay. So we now we have that IP address, and armed with that, we can switch to uh, another machine that we have here, this Windows 7 virtual machine, and I'm going to click on Start, All Programs. I'm going to go to Accessories and Remote Desktop Connection. Okay, so this is the computer that I'm using to connect to my Windows 10 installation. So uh, we've already got the IP address in there because I was playing with this before, but this would normally be blank and you would have to type in your 192.168.0.18 or whatever you have, right? And uh, when we go ahead and click on connect, okay, um, this is, again, because I was playing earlier, this already has the username for the computer that we're connecting to, but just as an example, if I click on uh, use another account, this is more like what you'll be faced with the first time through, and we can just repeat that. So, okay, and then you put in your password, and if you like, you can click remember my credentials so you don't have to go through this whole sign-in bit all the time and click OK and again the first time that you connect you may get this kind of a warning the, the identity of the remote computer cannot be verified blah 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 uh, you're not likely to have been installing certificates on your Windows 10 machine or whatever so 
what you can do is just say don't ask me again for connections to this computer check that off and say yes I want to connect anyway all right and now it's securing the connection and here we go it's signing into the Windows 8 machine or I should say the Windows 10 machine and here's the screen that we left right with our where we were looking at our IP address okay and if we go back to the actual virtual machine we can see that that has been logged out right you can only have one user at a time so when you log in remotely whoever's on logged in on the Windows 10 machine they're going to be kicked off all right so there you have it the basic steps for getting your Windows 10 computer connected via remote desktop on your local network. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe.